Hello Aries, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to your general reading for the month of May. I hope you are amazing. So we are going to get right into your reading. Let's see what we have for you. You have a good opportunity coming in in May. I love to see that for you. Okay, so what I see is this opportunity coming in and it giving you a chance to fix more things in your life. And that's not bad. It just gives you a moment to adjust, okay? Um, and I feel like partner with your good vibes that you're going to have, you know, whether you know it or not, your life's been pretty good right now. Um, you've cleaned a lot of things out that you don't need anymore. You have opened up your mind. You're feeling good. And that's going to open up an opportunity for you to move forward. Or even to look at things with brighter eyes. And when an opportunity comes in or a chance for you to change something in May, you will do so. Okay. So we have Fox, Ant, and Fire. Yeah. Um, where things were a little strict in business, um, in work, in your resources, in, um, yeah, in your resources, <laughs> pretty much is opening up for you right now. You, you are receiving an opportunity or like uh, an opportunity for better. It's like a step up for you, okay? Um, I feel like this is a good time for you to deal with your emotions about things. So if you've had strong emotions about work or any kind of negativity, it's like you're face to face with that energy and you have to make some sort of changes in order to keep climbing that ladder. Okay. So let's see. Three of wands, king of cups, nine of coins, the magician, nine of wands, star, Seven of Coins, Knight of Coins, Eight of Swords. Yeah. But the Justice and the Judgment, that's two major Arcana cards. Two major Arcana cards. So, wherever you had a blockage, whether it's you or whether it's something else, like uni a universal type of thing, um... That is going to be lifted. You do have an opportunity to balance things out. You do have an opportunity to make things right. It's almost like everything around you is becoming right. So you can jump on the bandwagon and see that things are good. And so that you can start balancing out everything else. Okay. So any kind of negativity, anything that was imbalanced is getting corrected. So you can follow suit on most Aries. Okay. Now, major arcana on the table, besides these, we have the star and the magician. Yeah, so this is about hope. It's like you're gaining hope. It's like you're gaining faith in the future. Um, you're healing so you can achieve your goals, so you can achieve better, so you can have better, so you can be in better energy. So what, what, whatever was manipulating you, like uh, slow movement or not seeing that you could step forward or feeling like everything was hitting the fan, that's diminishing. It's going away so you can think more positively, okay? Okay. 
I feel like you didn't see a way or you haven't seen a way in the past on how to move forward. Okay. Part of that is getting your emotions under control, your feelings about things, overreacting, underreacting to things that you should be reacting to. You're starting to see basically that it is it affects you. It affects your attempts at growing. It accept, it affects your attempts at looking at things with brighter eyes. Um, it's something about, you know, you having a positive outlook or you looking at things in a positive manner really helps you. Um, also, when it comes to love, it could be that love has not been the best for you, Aries, with this King of Cups being here. And it's like your emotions or your need for love has been driving you, okay? Um, and it's making you codependent on love, codependent on some particular individual, on a crush, on, you know, if I don't find love, I'm not successful. I don't understand why I can't move forward in that area. So it's just, they're just wanting you to look at things more positively and to not be so obsessed with like the outcome of things, um, to go with the flow because you're developing a sense of codependence on needing love or needing affection or needing this when you really don't. It's more of an addition to your life, okay? So it is about you getting control and having control, being in a good mindset to manifest in real life. So letting go of or letting go of holding on to things that are not helping you achieve that goal. So that's what this is, is getting you unstuck from some sort of the word desperate, but um, non-useful emotional attachment. OK, so you're not impulsive. So that's not the only thing that you're focused on. So you can see the bigger picture. So you can expand, so you can have more. So the magician, the nine of wands and the star. This is about getting your power back. Something comes in for you to help you gain your power back. Uh, part of this helps you put your walls down. You have to accept whatever this opportunity is. And it's in work or business. It could be that someone asks you a question, like, can you stay later than normal? <laughs> can you help with this? Even though you may not get a pay raise, can you help with something for a week? You know, it's like an opportunity for you to fix what you didn't do in the past. Okay. So let's say you haven't stood up, you haven't helped, you haven't thrown yourself out there, you haven't taken that extra step. This is an opportunity for you to do that, okay? It's it's like uh, reaping karmic benefits. Not monetary benefits, but more karmic benefits. Yeah. So you get a chance to help. You get a chance to um, end any negative thoughts or negative feelings or change some sort of cycle that you've been in. You get a chance to do that, okay? Where... It's something that you can handle. It's something that you can do on your own to open up that feeling of positivity that that you need in order to move forward, in order to reap these benefits in the future. It may be something that you do not want to do. Absolutely. Um because I feel like it's something you don't want to do, but there's no point in fighting it. It's like you can, and I feel like normally you would, normally you would say no, um, you would have these negative feelings about it, but th it has an aspect of why not, why not do it out of the goodness of your heart just this one time, okay? It is starting a new path that's going to help you in the future. It's solidifying a new relationship with a coworker, with your job, Okay. Uh, opening up more hope that they have in you. Yeah, because you gave, you donated your time, your energy. You did something out of the goodness of your heart instead of for some sort of value. But in the future, it does gain value for you. Okay. 
and you're working on building your life the way that you want it to and it is a project I'll tell you that Aries okay you're in the midst of building yourself. You need to keep going. You need to keep pushing. You need to believe in yourself and you need to be positive, as I always say. I feel like there are layers to this game, okay? It's not just you do this and everything is cleared out. And you do have strong emotions about it. You know, you do want, you want what you want. You want to be happy. You want love. You want all of these things. You're slowly working on it one step at a time you're peeling the layers of the onion as they say okay and all this is helping you remove blockages it's helping you get a consistent mindset a consistent function consistent um, actions and movements to get you towards where it is that you want but this first step of it this first section of peeling off this onion is about your mindset it's about looking at things more positively it's about opening yourself up to new opportunities and being confident, all of that, okay? Yeah, you've taken some so you're taking some sort of risk of working on yourself and making your life better. And it's really because you want to leave something behind. You want to leave a bad relationship, bad connections. Maybe you're not happy with your life or your job or the situation that you're in. And you're starting the process of moving through that. And it's taking longer because, you know, over time, there are different traumas and different things that we go through and they connect to each other like puzzle pieces. And you have to find the right pieces to move on to the next section. That's the way that they're having me view it. OK, really, this is based on you having a happy, peaceful, balanced life. And feeling like you don't have to fight all the time, letting down your guard, removing blockages in your life so you can be successful and having a steady path. I feel like for you, having a steady life situation in, in any area is what it is that you're looking for at this moment. And they're really trying to give you that. OK. So this month, it comes in as a form of help. So take the help, take the knowledge, take the experience. You have something that's set in your life that you can believe in, like your job. You may not like the people. You may want to make more money. You may want all of these things. We all want something different, okay? Even, even though it's good. It's giving you a chance to look at it as a way for you to step up because it's a good, solid foundation, okay? It's something that you can build. It's something that you can grow with, even though it's not perfect. But if you change your mindset about your job, you'll see that it's a good job. It's steady. You have good benefits. You like some of the people, maybe not all of them, but you can handle it. So they're starting with this one layer and then we'll move to the next is what it, it's like. So this is bringing in really, really good energy for you. There just is, there's just adjustments happening in May, okay? So positive mind, things are balancing out for you. That's what's happening here. It's just up to you to perceive it, to see it, to take the wake-up call, okay? Accept the help. Do something out of the goodness of your heart this month, okay? So let's pull a card to end with. Nothing real can be threatened. How can you actively participate in creating heaven on earth? Yes. Like I said, this is about creating balance in your life and taking a risk where you normally don't take risks. Whether this is a mindset that has been closed or, you know, I don't do this. That favorite line people like to do because I just don't like it or I've never done it that way. Do it that way this one time, you know. Do something out of the goodness of your heart with a pure soul. 
this month. Okay? I love you so much, Aries. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.